Welcome to the hub of analytics education, preparing students for the future millions of records at a time. The hub of analytics education is located in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Charlie Bay Maldred, one of the co-founders of the hub of analytics education. In this series of seven videos, we introduce you to Oracle's NetSuite.com. In video one, we explore some of the standard financial reports for Bibitor LLC. You'll need to contact Oracle Academy to get your own NetSuite account with the Bibitor data. All right, let's see what questions we want to pose and what Easter eggs we can find in our Bibitor LLC account to answer those questions. But before we log in, there are a couple of facts that are pretty important. The Bibitor LLC data in NetSuite is from July 2015 to June 2016. These are pretty important dates. Another important number is the number of retail stores. There are 79 retail stores in Bibitor LLC. Let's start with getting students familiar with NetSuite's standard financial reports. But first, let's log in. So here we are at the NetSuite homepage. We're going to log in. I'm going to enter in my login information. I already have that saved here. And here we are at the Oracle NetSuite homepage. Now for me, I only have one type of account, and that's my Bibitor account. And I know I'm in my Bibitor account by looking up here in the upper right hand column right here. It tells me the role that I am currently in. And I am a Bibitor faculty member. I also have a Bibitor administrator and a Bibitor student. But we're going to leave it on Bibitor faculty. Now, let's think about the NetSuite standard financial reports. There are three methods for students to locate the financial reports using NetSuite. One of the very simple ways is simply type in the report name you want. So for example, if I'm looking for the income statement, I'm just going to type in income statement. And it's going to bring up a variety of different search items, search results that have income statement. I'm just going to take the standard income statement, not the detail or anything like that. So we're just going to click on income statement. And what this does is it brings up the income statement. Now. For the first time that you log into your Bibitor account and look at the income statement, it is going to give you this alert. No data available. Well, there's a reason there's no data. And it's due to the default that, that NetSuite begins with. The default for reviewing any information is an examination of the current period. We need to change the current period to the period from July 2015 to July to June 2016. So down here it says here's our period right here and it's from October 2018 to October 2018. We need to change that to July 2015. I'll just click right up here get me to July 2015 and over here I want to make sure that is June 2016. So I want to go to June 2016 and then hit refresh. And now I have an income statement that has $440 million in sales, $300 million worth of goods sold, and around a net income of $77 million. So that's one way to find a financial statement is just type it into the search bar. Another way of looking for financial statements is go to reports and then come down to financial and then choose which report you want. In this case I want to choose the balance sheet. So we're going to click on balance sheet and this is going to bring up your balance sheet. Notice again that it starts with the current period. So we want to change from current period to June 2016 because that is the year end that is it, that we have for Bibitor LLC that's in NetSuite. And then let's hit refresh. The third way to find a financial report is go to financial, come down to reports, and pull up a report. Let's time this time I'm going to pull up the cash flow statement. Not really much going on here because, well, we have this period is highlighted. 
So again, I want to change this from July 2015 to June 2016. And then refresh. And that gives me my cash flow statement. Now, there are 79 retail stores that sell wine and spirits in the state of Lincoln. Well, what if I wanted to examine just a subset of the stores? For example, I might want to have a, well, I might want to have a class look at different cities and stores within that city. Or I might be interested in county level information and sales and profits within that county. The benefit of having so many stores is you can randomly assign different groupings of stores and have students conduct analysis between the stores using the income statement or the balance sheet. Thanks for watching the Hub of Analytics Education video series. The Hub of Analytics Education provides open educational resources to educators around the globe, supporting both higher education and secondary education. For more information, please visit our website at hubae.org.